Hello everybody, it's Clash's Gut here today with part 2 on how to make a catapult game in Scratch. So, in this video, we're going to be making our project into more of a game and making it more entertaining and we'll be adding collectibles and coins which you can collect. So, let's go in and paint a new sprite and this will be our coin. So, zoom in and select the circle tool. And we don't want an outline, and we want the fill to be a yellowish color. So just tweak around a bit until you find a suitable yellow color. I think that looks pretty cool. And hold down the shift button while you're making a circle to make a perfect circle. Now, let's make that a bit smaller. And make sure to center it. Okay, now let's go to our backdrops, and we want to convert to bitmap. Then choose the fill tool and let's make the fill a light grayish color and fill the backdrop. So now we have a light gray backdrop and don't forget to keep saving your project. Okay, now let's rename this our coin and let's start coding. So when clicked we want it to hide and let's go and make a block and let's call this block create coin at and add an input x add another input y and make sure it's run without screen refresh okay so let's first define it and before we do that we have to make some variables now make a variable called clone id make sure it's for this sprite only now next make a variable called clone x and for this sprite only and make a variable clone y and again for this sprite only so let's set our clone id to coin and drag out to set and we want to change that to clone x and clone y and set those two to x and y then we want to go to x x and y y and we want to create clone of myself so that will be our cloning script and let's drag in a create coin at let's just go zero zero from now which will be the center center of the screen so let's drag out a when i start as clone we want to first of all clear graphic effects and let's drag in an if else so if the clone ID is a coin we want it to point in direction 90 and drag out a forever we want it to show and clear graphic effects we want to set the X to clone X and set the Y to now watch closely for this part. First of all, drag out a plus sign and put the clone Y in here. Next, drag out a multiplication sign and put it in here. Now, what we want to do is drag out a ABS and change that to a cosine and fill in the end with a 10 okay next we want to drag another multiplication sign and put it in here and we want the timer multiplied by 150 so let's see now it goes up and down and up and down and up and down which is exactly what we want Except that's a bit slow, so let's change this to timer minus 3 multiplied by 400. Let's show that. Now that is a lot faster and looks a lot better. So that's cool. Now we want to set the size to, and now all we do is duplicate this and replace the clone y with 100 and then 
we want to cosine of timer except we just get rid of that minus 3 multiply by 150 times 10 so now you can see the size is growing smaller bigger smaller bigger that's really cool okay now currently if we just go through it nothing happens which is not very useful so let's drag in an if block in the forever loop so if it's oops touching the flying cat we want to now make a new variable and make this variable coins collected for all sprites we want to show coins collected and when clicked we want to set coins collected to zero okay here change coins collected by one then we want our sprite to hide and then we want it to set clone ID to particle and then we want to make a new variable this variable particle X for this sprite only make another variable particle Y for this sprite only and what we want to do is set particle X and set particle Y to its X and Y position after that let's make a new block and let's call this block clone and make sure it's run without screen refresh and clone is simply repeat for create clone of myself so in here we want to drag in a clone and in that clone we want to repeat pick random let's go three to four oops three to four we want to clone and then at the end delete this clone make sure it's in the if block okay cool so now let's go to our else down here so if our clone ID is particle oops make sure that's lowercase particle then we want to set the size to let's go pick random 50 to 60 and then we want it to show after that let's go make two variables and speed y which is for this sprite only and speed x which is again for this sprite only and let's set the speed y to again pick random let's say 8 to 12 and then we want to set the speed x to pick random negative 5 to 5 okay after that we want it to go to x particle x and y particle y after that we want it to point in direction and let's just scroll down a bit point in direction pick random negative 90 to 90 and then we want to repeat 15 to change the ghost effect by 5 and we want to change the size by negative 1 then we want to set our speed x to speed x multiplied by let's go 
0 0.97. After that, we want to change our speed y by negative 0 0.8. And then, of course, we have to change our x and change our y by our speed x and speed y and then after that repeat 15 make sure it's after we want to delete this clone so let's go in and try this so as you can see our coins collected is zero currently and we have our coin here so if I hit that coin, oops, I missed. Okay, I have to hit it. Woohoo! As you can see, I collected that coin. And if I do this again, you'll see there is a particle effect that comes up. Yep, that's very cool. Now let's tweak this a bit. Change the speed by by negative 1.1. Let's repeat 17. And let's try that again. Oops, nope, that won't work. Oh, what happened here? Yep. I did 11 instead of 1.1. 1 .1. Okay, let's test. Yep, that looks cool. And now you can see there is a coin and you can collect it and it has a collecting effect. So let's go in and we can get rid of our, well not get rid of, we can hide our speed x and our speed y variables. Let's scroll up here and let's create a few more coins. Let's say negative 50 20 and let's create another coin at 20 negative 60 so now as you can see we have three coins and then we can hit the coins we have one coin collected hit the other coin two coins collected and three coins collected so this is turning into more of a game so now let's make a kind of coin spinning animation here Let's go to costumes and we can just leave this costume one. But let's click on our coin and give it an outline. So click on this dropper tool here and click on the coin and make the outline a bit darker. Now change the size to, I think, five is good. Okay, so what we want to do now is just kind of make a spinning animation. So let's duplicate that. In costume 2, all you have to do is shrink it and make sure, of course, to center it. Costume 3, we have to shrink it even more and make sure to center it. Costume 4, shrink it even more until you can't even see the yellow. And now for costume 5, all you have to do is duplicate costume th 3 and then duplicate costume 2. And then there we go, we have our coin spinning animation. So, let's go back into code and implement that. And let's just say, when I start as clone, if our clone ID is a coin, then we just want it to spin. So, that is simply, forever next costume however we have to put in a weight here let's say 0 0.03 now we can tweak that later i'm just gonna go in and see how this looks as you can see we have our spinning animation which is a bit fast let's change that to 0 0.05 0 0.06 i think 0 0.05 so now, as you can see, we have our spinning coin animation. One thing to do is when you when the particle comes, we want it to switch the costume to costume one. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If this helped you, please leave a like and subscribe. Again, thanks for watching, and... This is only part two, so stay in tune for part three on how to make a catapult game. See you next time. Bye.